All right, problem 22, given another list of data, and we're supposed to decide again, same as when we had a little bit ago, is it normal or skewed left, skewed right? You can graph it by hand, you know, put a dot plot out. I will just show you that I actually went ahead and uh, entered the data up here in a list again, like you can do. Again, that format is just so uh, you maybe have seen that in case you choose to do it this way. L1, you can just use a plain L if you want to, but I think it does have to be the letter L. Subscripts, just if you ever have more than one list that you're putting down here at a time. Um, entered the data, you can find the mean just by putting the word mean, standard deviation of a population. That's all we're gonna do right now. This could be a sample as well. And then the dot plot is what will create your graph over here. Now, looking at the median of 18, so that's right on this point right here. If you look to the left, there's four data points to the left and there's five to the right. So that splits it down the middle pretty evenly. If you had used the mean here of 16 and a half in here, now you've got whatever this is, like eight points over here, but only four there. So that would not split your data in half very well. So this definitely is going to be the median, which then in turn ends up meaning that this problem, not only is it the median that's gonna use the center, that it is definitely gonna be called that it's skewed over here to the left because it tails off a lot longer. You know, so if you go from the 18 all the way down here to this uh, two, it's a spread of 16 and 18 up here to just like 26, that's only six. So the uh, skewed left, you're gonna use your median of 18 and that your median is gonna be a better measure of the center. 